Hi, welcome to the 19th program in the Art in Arlington series. In this program, we meet with Carla Dorado. Carla Dorado is the owner of the Artful Heart Gallery in Arlington Center. And in this episode, we get to learn from Carla how she became interested in art as a kid and then how she came to own, uh, become an owner of the Artful Heart Gallery. And then we talk about the art that is in her store, uh, about how she focuses on art by local artists and her general philosophy as a business owner and her advice to other small business owners and even her suggestions to the community about how you know, art in the how local art um, and, and establishments like hers can be supported. I mean, we take a look at the products in her store, not so much meat as a commercial, in fact it's not at all, but really it's just a display of some wonderful things. I mean, it's just like some really beautiful stuff in her store and also stuff that you wouldn't normally, I mean, at least things that I wouldn't think would be in the store by from looking you know, in the window. So, so it's going to be insightful and, and Carla is a delightful person uh, to talk with. So, so you're going to enjoy it and as always, I thank you for watching. Carl Dorado, thank you very much for joining me as part of my um, Art and Arlington series. And so here we are at your Artful Heart Gallery. You want to give me a little background about how you got into art and then how you um, became a part of this gallery? Well, I was interested in art actually basically through my grandmother. It started when I was very young. Uh, she had a little Italian group. They were all Italian immigrants and they would meet every Tuesday night in her house. She had a large basement with a nice little table and they would teach each other a craft and everyone was in charge of teaching a new technique or a new craft every Tuesday. So from a very, very early age I would sit in on these and I really took a passion to, well, knitting, crocheting and everything, but jewelry. The jewelry really uh, took me and I still do that today. So that was basically my introduction. And how I ended up with this gallery is kind of a little bit more of an interesting story. There was a woman who owned this gallery previously um, at, the, at another location just around the corner and she became very ill. And she wasn't able to um, get the landlord to agree to release her from the lease. And she was a, a very nice young woman. They had just come here from New Orleans and she, she uh, developed mitochondrial disease. And her husband was gonna have to declare bankruptcy and I have to wander in one day and I'm like, well, you know, what's going on here? You seem to be, you know, closing up. And she told me your story, and I'm like, you know what, don't worry, um, I'll take over the gallery. And she said, well, how do you plan to do that? And I said, well, I'm not sure, but just, just go home and we'll figure it out. And I have a very lovely friend who loaned me the money to start the gallery, and here we are today. Now the primary owners are my daughter and my son, and I, I run it for them until they're old enough to and out of school to take it on over but here we are it's a family business now wow wow that's a very interesting story and um hmm. so, well um let's let's uh, back up a little bit to the beginning so you said you you um you did jewelry yes and, and i see some jewelry behind you might the jewelry that i'm looking at behind you be yours no this happens to be a lovely artist named ayala bar and she is an israeli artist we focus mostly on local arts, but we do like to bring in pieces that we find unusual. And she happens to be one of my favorite artists. And I, okay, I got you. So, um, so you say you focus on on local art, and, and and so why is that? Well, you know, we have so many creative people in our own community, and it's really, really hard to find venues to sell your art now because there are so few shops. Most most work is done online, and a lot of us are like to see and feel and. And also a lot of artists don't do enough work to pr produce online or they're not very good at promoting themselves. So this is kind of a nice little niche and people really love to come here and buy things from, from their neighbors basically. So all our potters are very local. Our glass is Massachusetts and Rhode Island. And our bags here, we have some from Arlington. This is a young man just uh, finished from design school. He uses all upcycled uh, materials and we also have local scarves. She, Maria is from AIR and she does some wonderful, wonderful work, both um, hand dyed and things that she uh, just creates from fabric, some silk screened. And there's a lot of local people here though, I think you'll. 
You'll yeah. be surprised what your neighbors do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, it, it certainly is something that, that appeals to me. I, uh, actually, the bags that are, are upcycled, I'm just curious, what are they upcycled from? These are all um, jeans, there's uh, upholstery fabrics, he uses uh, odds and ends of tapestry and um, upholstery pieces. So, very, there was a nice backpack here. I think I'm sitting, but here's another a backpack item he did. And these, actually, I love the straps. These are seat belts, uh -huh. recycled seat cool. belts. Cool. And and um, the reason I, I asked about the upcycling is that the, of the series, this is I think like the third time me I've encountered you know upcycling art. Me, one artist me did a uh, really impressive sculpture like a cityscape me from batteries for a client. Me, and, um, and another one um, uses these tins like um, Altoid tins and makes her art oh, me, from from that. Let me show you these clocks. Come okay, on over here and take sure. a look. Right, right behind. The wall here. This is a couple from, um, they're from East Hampton and they use a lot of upcycled materials. You'll see a lot of tins, you'll see bottle caps, a lot of cooking utensils, and. It's like, am I seeing CD discs? You are seeing CD discs. Yeah. Yes, uh, discs as well. <laughs> All right. You know, well, <laughs> while we're here, we'll swing around and, um, and show the the owner, one of the owners. We, you know, so that's your son, Gianni. That's Gianni. Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll be back yeah, again maybe, at some point to, uh, to yeah. talk with you. I'll have, to, I'll have to focus more on my art, I guess. Okay. Yes, you better. Yeah. And my daughter Liz as well. Uh, she she's one of the owners, but she is at school today. She is over yeah. at BU and uh, actually working on a. A science degree, sort of like you. Yeah, and, and I did something a little bit uncool to me to <laughs> your son because I talked to him even though he's not Mike. So, so we'll have to um, take care <laughs> of that in audio some way. But that's my boo boo. You know, yeah, but, no worries. You no know, worries. Uh, so well, um, so how do you find the community uh, with respect to, to art? You say that there's a, a lot of art ar artists in the community. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you find the community as um, in terms of supporting artists? Do you know, I think people really, really like the idea of it. I, I think sometimes people in our community might get a little um, lazy about it. I think they have to be a little more proactive uh, uh, coming to our, the venues we have. I, we have a nice business association here in Arlington. And you know, when, when things start to kind of run amok, they, they kind of gather, but it's the day-to-day -day support that people have to um, really have to be aware of, you know, just getting your cards at your local shops. And there's there's plenty of them here in Arlington. There's a few in the east, you know, a few in this area, one in the heights. So um, the rents are high. If you want to see these things, and people do like to come and look, you have to support it. And you don't always have to do it in a big way. I think just those little small things keep people going. So as much as they love these shops, and they do, we have a great community, they have to be mindful that before they go on Amazon, because it's really easy, they should you know, stop and see what their neighbors are making and see if there's something appropriate. I got you. I got you. Uh, I, I certainly understand that and, and, and I can say that. I mean, I try to do my part, you know, by um, buying cards and, and, and other things mm -hmm. uh, locally. And I will say sometimes I'm really surprised to find out what is at a store. And, and, and I mean, I, I don't blame that on the owner. But for example, I mean, when I went on your website, I also saw that you sell candy. We do. And so, and just looking in the store, I would never think, you know, that you sell candy, you know what I mean? And, and, so, and so a lot of times, I mean, I, like I look by, past by the store and I think, I think mostly jewelry, you know, mm -hmm. and as a guy, you might imagine yes. there'd be rare times or very few times that I <laughs> well, might be interested in, as opposed to, you know, the opposite gender, mm -hmm. and, but candy. Candy and like, jam. For, yeah. We have beautiful jams. Yeah. We have locally made, um, salted caramel sauces and hot fudges yeah. so occasionally we have cookies yeah. you know we, we run the and we try to switch it up so it's always interesting yeah, uh, yeah. so so um, so then I might suggest to me maybe you know somehow making it known <laughs> to the people passing by you know that they're edible Maybe Art. we should do some samplings. You're right. Maybe we should do some samplings. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm not so much seeing the same samplings, but maybe just, you know, somehow make it clear, you know, when people go by that there are, you know, something, that, things to eat in here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so what are some other things you think that people uh, would find in here they might not expect to find? 
oh, we have great socks. We have really lovely men's uh, and women's socks. And we carry the ozone. In the winter, we carry a lot of uh, different socks, too. We'll carry some really nice cashmeres. And we, we try to do the higher-end socks, things that you're not going to find in Macy's and things like that. We, we try to find something fun for, because, you know, there are people who just absolutely adore socks, my son being one of them. So we, we try to focus on, on fun socks, so, and, okay. and more exotic, a little, little more expensive if you want, but they're, they last and they're worth it. I got you. Uh, do you have any of those that I can see now? I do. All right. I will follow you through the store and then you know, see some things along the way, perhaps. On the way, you can look at the beautiful pottery from Peter Graham's. We have wonderful handmade leather flasks, it's the sauces, the jams. Sarah DeBesh, another local potter, and these beautiful pieces are Ruth, Ruth Wine Rib. She does a gorgeous job too. Huh? And and when you say local, me, are you really talking Arlington? Or are you talking just um, kind of like well, in the Sarah region? Well, Sarah and Ruth are both from Arlington, and then we have um, Peter Grams, who's from Somerville, uh -huh. and he's the, the the purple hues. Um, all of these jams are made here in Arlington. The caramels are from Boston. The uh, the sauces are from. Um, they are now in, in, he just moved to Dorchester. He used to be in Watertown and he outgrew his plant. He's been doing really, really well. Best of uh, New York and a lot of the shows, food shows, so awesome things. And then we have Lexington honey, mm -hmm. nice local honey. And socks, here we go. Here are some of the fun men's socks we have right now. This one happens to be a map of the uh, Boston Transit. Oh my goodness, wow. That is very cool. And I, I also do um, some volunteer work with the Rider Oversight Committee for the MBTA. Ah. And so, um, uh, uh, <laughs> how, many, <laughs> how many pairs of those do you have? Well, right now I think we have uh, two left. Those two are left? actually pretty popular. Huh? And then we have, you know, if you need a little extra protection, <laughs> yeah. those are a little bit fun. I think these are great. These are actually made in Japan, but they're really, really beautiful. They're not inexpensive. They're thirty-eight dollars. But still, I mean, but they're artsy socks. They are, yeah. and they're koi. Yeah. They're koi fish. They're beautiful. Wow. And these are some of their other socks. These are a little more reasonable. They're twenty-five dollars for these men's socks. They're uh, fifteen rather, and these are all cotton. And for the women, we have a little bit more in the women right now, but these are what they have for their. And as you can see there, the, some of the uh, titles are actually just fun. These are the uh, Apothecary series. And then there's a witchcraft series. I think it's this one, um, all the witches brews. And there's little tags they put on them to tell you about the flowers or the herbs that are involved. And nice. This, yeah, so lots of fun things. We yeah. have local soaps, too. We have handmade felted soaps, which are really, really nice. And they're all natural ingredients in all of our soaps, all of our products that we have that we that we bring in like this. So this is also a local Arlington woman, and she has an organization, um, and it's called Beyond the Nets, and their mission is to protect the first thousand days of life in infants and children from malaria, and this is in Ghana. So this, these all kind of focus on that charity in this area. And I see lots of cards. Oh, yeah. a lot of homemade cards, too. These are mostly all our handmade cards here, right. so we try to really focus on. And the other cards are all um, American um, hand screened, all the small card makers. Right. So we don't do the Hallmark or things like that. We try to really focus on, yeah. the, on the more the art cards and the American small company right. made. Yeah, I mean, I have to say, I mean, that's one of my re main reasons for going into local gift stores, because when I give, like, birthday cards and holiday cards, anniversary cards and things like that, mm -hmm. I don't like going to, like, a CVS or Walgreens, because you kind of, like, feel, well, everyone's seen those cards. Yes, and, and, so, and, and it is true, and yeah. it's it's nice to support the, yeah. more, the smaller companies. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. And yeah. I think, you know, when you have a small company like this, you really, really understand how much it takes to keep a small business growing, which is really pushes me to, to look for smaller. Well, you know, look, you know, as you mentioned, I have a science background, but you know, I, to, a part, to a certain extent, I feel that you know, everything is science and everything is art. Mm -hmm. and, and so 
So managing a small business to a certain extent is an art form in itself. It's a huge art form. <laughs> and, and so, so you talked about, you learn about some of the things that it takes to give us, keep a small business going. And, and at the risk of putting you on the spot, it, uh, I mean, what would you say are some of your biggest lessons or most important lessons that you've learned and maybe that you will convey to someone else who was thinking about going through a venture like this? You know, you, it has to be, you can't do it for money. Because in a business like this, there isn't a lot of money. So you have to do it because you love it. It has to be a business you, you're willing to spend a lot of time with because you need to spend a lot of time with it. And you have to do it with a lot of heart. And, and in that sense, too, um, with our artists, if they're not nice, they don't get to live here. You know, there are so many um, nice people in the world. I think you, you have to create a space and a, and a sense, and part of that is, you know, how you treat your people, but also how people treat you. I, I think what you um, what you plant grows. So if you know, we have some artists that came in that you know their their work sold, but they weren't very nice. So we we, we try to promote um, goodness, if you want. <laughs> I yeah, know it sounds hokey, yeah, but no, 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 you know, I you. It, 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 it kind of infuse your yourself into your business if you want or whatever you make and you know we, we want good feelings we want good energy we want people to come in here and be happy it's not just a place where you come to buy things it's a place where you can come and find a little bit of peace I mean not everybody can afford to come in and buy something but sometimes people need a place where they can go and see something pretty just to brighten their day or have a little conversation and I think that's another reason these small stores are really really important it creates a sense of community it, it gives some of the older people a place to stop by and just say hello, you know, and touch base. Or if somebody's having a bad day, they don't have to talk to, they can just come in and stand and, and maybe just get a nice smile. And I, and I think they find that here. I think everyone who works here for me and with me really are nice people and they will take the time to spend some time with you. And well, that's very nice. That's very nice. And that, that definitely wasn't the answer <laughs> and, uh, uh, I was expecting to, to the extent I had any expectations but certainly. Well it would be helpful if you had a million dollars in your back pocket but well you know <laughs> yeah. most of us don't. Yeah right 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 no 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 but mm -hmm. it's good to uh, no it's, that's that's great that's wonderful uh, and and it also reminds me of something else that I saw on your website and that is that you say you host like seminars or talks or discussions we do. We yeah. haven't done as much of it lately. We're going to be getting back to that in the fall. Yeah. I, we had some family things going on. My mother was ill, and she decided to go and move to somewhere else upstairs. So we are planning to get back into that aspect of our business soon. Mom, yeah. hope you're doing well up there. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> uh, uh, but but just to get a sense of what maybe people might you know have a chance to expect later on, because uh, um, although I'm recording this in July, mm -hmm. and I have a pipeline of. Um, of interviews and so this won't really mm -hmm. get onto ACMI or YouTube and probably like October, um, November, maybe even December. So oh, well, you know, maybe by that point, you know, you will be, so what might people expect? Oh, we do trunk shows. We definitely do trunk th shows in the fall. We do artist openings when some of our artists come in and bring in new works. We, we have a reception for them. We do tastings. We, we, and we also do, you know, just fun promotions sometimes depending around the holidays there. We try to get together with the other businesses and plan some fun, some yeah. discounts. Yeah. So, but definitely there'll be trunk shows, there'll be tastings, you know, and meet the artists, probably a book reading or two. Yeah. Right. So we, please forgive my ignorance, a trunk show. A trunk show is when the artist, say um, uh, Peter Graham or one of our jewelers will come in, but w obviously we can only carry so much of right. each person. We allow them to come in and, and bring a whole plethora of things, things that maybe you wouldn't see here, maybe even other things that they do that they don't sell here. And we have a day that features them. Generally, we have wine and cheese, you get to sit and meet them, we, they usually give a little discount, and it's just a great way to meet the artist and find out who is making that coffee cup you love and, and what is their process and, and I, give them a little extra income too. I got you, I got you. So the way for people to find out about that would be on your website of course. Absolutely. Okay and we'll certainly put that up I mean, at the end of um, this discussion and um, hmm so I, I see so much um, so much art around. I'm a little bit overwhelmed as to where to go next but we took a look we took a walk around the one side of the store coming to the socks. Well, we can monkey it around a little if you want. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> this is a beautiful sock monkey and it's made by Jan. And huh. Jan, it actually works over at the Bistro Duet. She does many things, but she 
has a lovely business doing sock monkeys, and she also does little sock. Uh, they're up in the front. She does these little um, uh, mice. Oh yeah. You know, most people are trying to get rid of mice, but right. people who have cats bring them in, and they're filled with catnip, and they're really, really cute. Oh, that's funny. That's so, funny. Well, maybe we'll see that. There's a little, and they're all named. This one is, who is this one? This is May. So this is a nice little girl. Little girl. But there's a few cool. hanging around. They'll so, pop so, out at you. Yeah, so let's take a, a walk along the other side of the store. All and, right. um, and then um, we'll maybe end up with the, the mouse. And then. Um, well, this is a, a group from Maine. And these are all handmade. These are our actual nautical um, address, if you want, our nautical points in the uh, for Arlington. They do those. We usually have bracelets too. There's money clips with a map of Arlington. Cool. And they have oh, nice. some ornaments. These are great. Any kid going away to school fun yeah. to have. So you can hang them in your car or hang them on your tree. Yeah, I love the stuff with like the Arlington touch to it, you know what I mean? Uh, it's uh, hard to find, so we really had to find people to create it for us. Yeah, so, right, right. No, that's great. And Cause I think I mean, a lot of people who, who live in Arlington just have, I mean, they like the town a lot, mm -hmm. people who live here. And, and oh, so, one well. thing we have, we carry the Arlington Cultural Heights book. If you've never read it, it's awesome. Uh, all of the uh, profits for this go to the uh, Dallin Museum, okay. but we do carry that, and that's a great book if you've never read it. Uh, uh, and yeah. we have a few local arth authors here too. Lillian Love, Sue Katz's latest book, and she lives right across the street. Uh. And over here we have some nice leather work, and this is a, a girl from Arlington, Leanna Zona. Her sister is our latest female young policeman, lovely lady. But this is some of her work. We have uh, nice local uh, bibs, afghans, little baby things. We don't carry a lot of baby, but we have some really nice things. What's over here? Well, these are fun. These are little bamboo vases a fellow from Lexington makes. And the bamboo is from his yard, and he grows it, and he makes little bases. I really like that. Mm -hmm. They're really, really fun. Yeah. And then we have, um, my daughter does these. These are little um, terrariums with the uh, succulents. Cool. So. Yeah, I like those too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some stone necklaces by one of our locals. Nice. What's the, um, what's the flower thing in the back? That is actually a woman from Northampton who makes those. And she also, but she did a few other things too, but this is what I have left. It's a little, um, Decoupage, uh, is it decoupage? What do you call it, Gianni? With, uh, not decoupage, it's... Mod yeah, well, I guess it is decoupage with a Mod Podge, but she does uh, peace signs, which lately have just flown right out of I'll here. I'll bet, I'll bet, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's looking for a little peace. Yeah. So, and over here, we have a few different artists. This is Firefly, and she's out of California, and it's nice, beautiful, shiny things. And all crystal. Yeah, okay, this is right. the Firefly jewelry here. Okay. She has beautiful bracelets. Okay. They're gorgeous. A lot of color to these. And they're extremely popular. Nice. And they are pretty. Then we have over here, we have um, this is, why well, can't I think of anybody's name right now? That's okay. This is. No, no, no. Um, uh, the one on the board over there. Oh. Hmm? No, right there. No, the board. Oh, right here? Levy. Uh, Levy yeah. Parisian. We also have a little bit more Levy on the other side. Okay. And what do we have over here? Oh, this is the Ayala bar, and she's an Israeli designer. Right. Yeah. And these are all made here in the USA, maple leather, and they are out of uh, Jersey. Oh, those are really pretty. Yeah, they're really, really nice bags. Yeah, they, they are. Very, wow. very. They do some leather work, too. Yeah. They're gorgeous. Yeah, they are. They really are. Yeah. And Grandpa's Garden is a, a, a kind of a cooperative. They hire all local people from Maine, and they do all kinds of fun things. These are their eye and sinus pack, sleepy time pillows. They also do the, some of the beers we have back there that are great for kids. You can put them in the um, in the uh, in the microwave, or you can put them in the freezer. So they're great for bumps and bruises. Right. And the really really nice material. Right. These are some of the scars by Maria Testa, and she is from Air. And these are some of her hand dyed scarves. Really, very, very beautiful. Yeah, they are. She does. We 
do very well with her work, and she's a really nice person. has been very supportive of us. Nice. And Chipita, the, these are some of the pieces I love. She is from Colorado, so a little bit further out, but these are filled with so many teeny, tiny, beautiful pieces, and they're all little semi-precious stones. Wow. And they are just gorgeous. This is a woman with a world of patience. Yeah, but amazing. Beautiful, beautiful things. That's amazing. And back over here, these are uh, Michelle Pressler, and she's another American artist, and she does some very, Can, can you point out which one's her again? This is Michelle okay, Pressler, right. right there. All right. And again, teeny tiny stones. I like this very delicate work. I think it's really just beautiful. Yeah. And from Denver, we also have uh, J&I Jewelry, and this is some of their work here. Actually, there's a mix with a little Michelle Pressler, but I think this one is all J&I here. Yeah. A lot of metal work. It's a husband and wife team. Right. Really yeah. pretty things. We try to vary it up, try to yeah. give you Right. Nice. So, so um, so trying to understand maybe a little bit of the process of the business. And um, uh, so um, can we swing around? Sure. Yeah, mainly because of the sound the, and, the, and, and the, the glare. Yeah, and the glare and the sound uh, from outdoors. Um, how do you find out about the local artists? Well, uh, two ways. They come to me, yeah. and I do see a lot of local artists. They, a lot of them will pop in and, and show me their work. And I go to a lot of fairs. I go to a lot of craft fairs. Okay. And some of the other ones, I go to New York just to fill in and see what the trends are. Okay. So at least once a year, I go to like the New York Now or some of the other shows that they do there. Uh, they do about three or four different types of shows in New York. But I usually try to catch the New York Now because they have a little bit of everything, and they have a, a Made in the America uh, section. Okay, they yeah. also have a really good fair trade section. I like to carry some kind of fair trade item every year. Last year we concentrated on Nepal because they had just gone through the earthquake, so we right. thought that was a great uh, resource to help them get back on their feet. We also always do some African uh, stonework. They do a lot of beautiful carved hearts, which really suits us as far right. as our whole theme. And you can sort of choose whenever you purchase from them where you want your money to go. We usually choose education, but you can, they, they do a lot of different, focus in a lot of different areas depending on where the tribe is from and who's doing the work. So I find that very I got nice, you. So. so I think you may have answered the other question I have, and that is how do you find the people who aren't local, mm -hmm. probably at the same trade shows? Yes. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, you know, what's nice about New York is they have a vetted fair trade. You have to be careful with fair trade because a lot of people come in and say, oh, you know, this is fair trade and it's going through yeah. this and that, but they'll scam you. It's awful, right. you, but it, it happens a lot. Yeah. So I feel much more comfortable going to New York and knowing that all these vendors have been vetted. They are yeah. definitely fair trade. They are very. They tell you exactly what percentage is going where, so you can make a very um, knowledgeable decision on what you're, what you choose. Right. Right. Yeah. So. If there's a market for something, there's a scam, and uh, mm -hmm. and, and so yeah, I hear you. So well, that's mm -hmm. that's, that's informative. Uh, so you mentioned, you know when we were uh, in the back of the store that there was an uh, artist uh, who uh, works at Bistro Douay. Yes. I said that correctly, right? A duet. Duet. Okay. Duet. And uh, for some reason I wanted to say it the French way, but... <laughs> I know uh, everybody does, but it's actually an American word. Well, we, we, don't, we don't correct anyone. <laughs> that's fine. Well, well, that's interesting. So, so then, so, well, well, we'll talk more about this because it, you are one of the owners or partners well, in the... My my, my uh, husband, well, sort of husband, whatever he is. My mother calls him my husband. He's this man that's been hanging around with me for about 12 years now. Yeah. He is the chef and owner, and Wayne Dupre is our friend and partner. And I, I kind of, um, what do I do? Just a little bit of everything. I, I work on the catering. I, I, one of the managers, I clean, I... I wait tables upon occasion. Yeah, well, <laughs> so so you just one of those Make critical, jam. one of those critical jack of all trades, mm -hmm. persons. He, he, well, well. Um, Johnny started to cook there next week. He's he's uh, going to be in the business. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Well, hey, and, uh, uh, well, I had mentioned to you the desire to check out uh, the place to explore and eat um, food. I think you find it very delicious as an art form. <laughs> and, uh, well, I'm looking forward to that too, but but more so just coming by and getting to understand what goes into the craft of food as an art form. So, so uh, I think we're going to you know, end this 
conversation with that tease okay, that <laughs> that we'll see you again. I think in, you'll enjoy that trip. <laughs> in upcoming um, segment. Excellent. And so thank you very much for your time. I oh, really appreciate it was a it. pleasure. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it.